How you doing? It's uh, Monday. I had no intention of doing this, but I'm here enjoying my porch. I don't know if you follow the saga of the screened in porch at my house, but um, my incredibly wonderful husband Brandon built this porch for us. We had a deck out here. Uh, it, this was like mid-March. He decided he wanted to try to screen it in. We screened it in. It has a clear roof. So I can sit out here if it's raining or not or whatever. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. That's all I'm going to say. Hi, Randall. Um, anyway, it's, it's just marvelous. And it's just the very best place to sit out here and play my guitar and just piddle. He started just piddling today. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to say hey because I thought... I'm out here enjoying this. Brandon's having a nap. He had to work today, so he's taking a nap. Uh, you know, that's what guys do when they get done after a hard day's work. But anyway, um, I wanted to let you guys know. Uh, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, I, I put this on all my social media stuff. But I am down to just right around 10 of the original pressings. Okay, the original pressings of all over the map, okay? The reason that these are different than what you would get at a show or anything else, these have the whole fold out, all the song info, all that kind of stuff, okay? I have, I think, like nine or 10 of these left, all right? You guys have bought a few this weekend after I made the social media posts. But this particular one, I only have like, like I said, nine or 10 left. So if you don't have this version, like I said, this is the first pressing. The ones that you get now, they're not like this. I only have nine or so of these left. If you get on tagoins.com right now, you can get one of the final nine and I will autograph it for you and send it to you. They're $14.95. You're not gonna find that deal anywhere else, I promise. So check it out, all over the map, tagoins.com. That's where you get it. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to shout that out because, like I said, there's not very many left. So if you want that version, the only, the original, the OG, if you will, version of All Over the Map that actually has the fold out and the whole big thing, Tia going to get yours now. Anyway, I'm just sitting out here. I'm just chilling. What are y'all doing? What's going on? Um, I was just going to work on some things. I've got two gigs this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be playing a writer's round at Puckett's in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, Franklin, uh, I'm sorry, Puckett's Grocery in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, I'm going to be doing a writer's round with Jim Moose Brown and Don Sampson. I'm so excited. Those guys, we have so much fun together. Uh, but that's going to be Friday night uh, at 8.30. So if you are anywhere in the vicinity, we would love to have you there. Join us, make a reservation, get you a table. We've got great food. You just come and sit, and we're going to pick and sing and talk and tell stories and do who knows what. Because honestly, when it's those two, all bets are off. They're nuts. They're absolutely nuts. Um, and then on Saturday, I'm going to be out in Bon Aqua, Tennessee, which I've only been out to Bon Aqua like once, I think, before. It's kind of southwest-ish of Nashville. But there's a place there called the Highway storytellers museum what it is is it is the farm that johnny cash used to go hide away at back in the day okay and what they've done is the family has kind of restored it and brought it up there's a museum there now and they have writers rounds there and i'm going to be playing a writers round there on saturday night so if you're in nashville for vacation or you're just kind of around and you would like to come and see what i do i would love to have you, you can either come out to puckett's in franklin on Friday, or you can come out to Bon Aqua at the Storytellers Hideaway Museum. Uh, you can find all the information at tiagoins.com. Uh, you can find it just basically anywhere, uh, tiagoins.com, or there's also some links to it on my Facebook and my Instagram and all that stuff and Twitter, so find me there. Anyway, that's what's up. That's what's going on. And I'm just out here just chilling listen to the birds sing, looking at this beautiful green loveliness behind me. If you're not a nature person like I am, that doesn't thrill you, but to me, 
15 and it's about 75 degrees like actually no I'm looking at our we have an old school thermometer up here it's like 70 degrees the sun it's kind of cloudy so it's just sort of cool and breezy and nice it's a good time anyway I just wanted to check in say hi how you doing um I guess that's all I'm not really doing like a sing-along or anything today that I know of <laughs> I just wanted to say hi and let you guys know what was going on if you want to get the uh, first run CDs of all over the map I've got nine left so I think nine or ten left anyway get them while you can because when they're gone they're gone geo any we won't be getting any more of these big fold-out versions like this so if you get one of the, the final nine you'll get this and it'll be autographed tiagoins.com $14.95 um, we got a couple of shows this weekend uh, Puckett's in Franklin on Friday and Storytellers Hideaway and Museum uh, in Bon Aqua on Saturday so it's gonna be fun um, you want me to play a song Randall what do you want me to play Ooh, I don't even know what my key for this is uh, I, I, do you have a specific one <laughs> that you'd like to hear that I know <laughs> Um, if you have something you want to hear, I'll, I'll try to play it, but if not, I'll probably just roll out, because <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I'm just out here picking in and grinning, just for fun, to get, uh, prepared for this weekend, make sure I've got all my stuff, because I, honestly, I, I had a couple of gigs the last few weeks, had some stuff going on like this last week I didn't have anything going on this last weekend and so I've kind of taken some days off I haven't been playing and you know your fingers like they they lose their limberness a little bit so I haven't played one note tonight so me playing something for you right now uh, would be questionable at the time but uh, I'll play something Oh yeah, see, it's it it's Tomas. I appreciate you. Uh, it would it would have to kind of be something that I've played before, uh, particularly maybe something that I that I wrote. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, he asked for storms that are last, but I don't even know what he ever do that in. Storms never. all I can do for you right there. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've, never, I've never even sang that song. So I don't I don't even know really the words to it. Um, but if you want me to play something, uh, I'll play a little bit of
I saw some comments coming in. Let me see what y'all said. Sorry, I don't even, I don't know. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yes, you're picking and I'm a grinning, so that's what Neil said. Uh, hey, Tia, for some reason I didn't get a notice you were going live. You know what? I just randomly did it, so it, it must have just told you through YouTube. I, I don't even know. I, I didn't, I had no, I didn't put it out there, so no one even knew what was happening. Uh, Alan said, I love your songs. Thank you. Uh, this is music we don't hear anymore. Beware of mainstream artists of Nashville, Tennessee, who pretend to be country artists. They mix in other garbage. <laughs> you know what, Alan? We're all making the music that we want to make, and everybody's got an opportunity to make whatever kind of songs they want. Thank God I am free to write and play and sing the kind of songs that I do. I'm thankful for that, and I'm thankful that other people can do it too, because if they couldn't, I couldn't. So... I gotta say, I'm, I'm happy that I have the opportunity to do what I do. There's a lot of different types of music out there, and thank goodness we have things like YouTube and social media where we can go out and find those artists that play the kind of music that we like or the kind of music that I like or you like or whatever, and they're out there. And I feel like now we've even got more of an opportunity uh, for people to find us because if you were just listening to what was on the radio, you would have no idea the other kinds of music that were out there. You know what I mean? So that's that's been a really good thing for me. So um, I don't want to tell you a name of a person that's currently on the radio just because I don't I, I don't keep up with all of that. I kind of stay in my own little world and I listen to a number of different types of music and different things, but none of it's really new. Uh, so there's that. But anyway, but that's what I like, and I'm thankful that I get the opportunity to listen to what I like to listen to. So, um, let me see what else y'all. Oh, hello from Sweden. Hi, Lars. Wow, thanks for watching. Um, somebody said, didn't mean to love you. Um, let me see.
like if maybe a couple weeks back. So thanks for bearing with, you know, I'm trying to learn a lot of stuff. So anyway, who else is on here? I saw Sherry come on while ago. Love you. Um, let's see what else we got here. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh man, I know the Lord will stand by me. What key do I do that in? I've never played that one. I've never played that one on my guitar. I don't know. Thanks, Mima. That's Mima's song. You know that. Um, oh, Untangled. Kendra has been mesmerized with that one lately. Well, Kendra, thank you. Uh, it, it was so well written. Well, thank you very much. That means a lot. That song, uh, that came from a, a very, very, uh, th that was a therapeutic song for me. Um, I have struggled off and on over the years with anxiety and depression and my thoughts just getting the best of me and I don't know if anyone else has ever uh, dealt with that kind of thing but I, I felt very trapped by the things that were in my mind and the thoughts that I was having and just you know the negative things and a lot of stuff and and so that's kind of where this this song stemmed from um, and I've heard from a lot of people who have heard it in completely different ways than the way I heard than I, the way I uh, meant it or the way I was feeling when I read it uh, or when I wrote it uh, but Moose and I I remember the day we wrote this I mean there were tears shed like I was there was you know it was a therapy session just writing it um, but yeah it's just um, sometimes it feels like it's it's hard to get out from under things and um, but we know the Lord will stand by me I know that and that's that's what pulled me through it uh, but yeah I'll, I'll do uh, I'll do Untangled you use I love you like open draw me in and cut me like a knife you keep your secrets and all you give me are guilt and confusion wrapped up tight cause every time
it's available on this here a CD album streamer whatever you do whatever you do if you CD it I got the CDs in fact I only have like nine left of the original pressing the one that folds out that has all the info there's like nine left at tagoins.com. You can get them right now, $14.95, and I will sign it for you. If you get one of the last nine, it's going to be this one. I should give like something else away to the person that gets the last one. Like I should throw a t-shirt in there or something. I might. You never know. Anyway, but you can get it there. If you stream it, you can stream it anywhere. Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, XYZ, whatever. Wherever you get it. Deezer, YouTube Music all the things it's everywhere well in just a second i'm gonna go uh close the door my cats open the door and brandon's trying to take a nap hold on we haven't got um we haven't got a cat door yet so we've just been like leaving our our porch door open for the cats to kind of meander in and out and one of them of course opened the door and it like opened it all the way so and he's laying on the couch in there asleep, so I'm sure he appreciated Untangled at the high volume, but it was, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. John Mitchell said, me and Daryl Worley are watching. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? You know, I know Daryl. I know he knows uh, Moose Brown and the mess of the moose. You know what I'm saying? No, I love him. I love him. I love him. That's awesome. Um, but thanks for watching, y'all. Appreciate it. Um... Hey, I should come to Sweden. That's one place I haven't been. I've been to Norway. No, 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 I have been to Sweden. I've been to Sweden. It was, um, gosh, that was like 2014 maybe or something. But I do need to come back. I'm way past due coming back. Anyway, thanks, Kendra. Thanks for requesting it. Anyway, um, oh gosh. Wake up. Sounds like a song that makes me wake up dancing. You mean the song Wake Up Dancing? I know I can't play that on here. I don't think. Uh, let's see. never played ever it would not be good uh, <laughs> I don't know if you were requesting that or if you were just saying that but anyway sing a gospel standard that I like oh um let's see I don't think I've played this on guitar either so this could be a train wreck Say Neil, I'm looking at you. 
Thank you for trying. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, I, you can bend those strings on Grace I Faithful as well. Thanks. You're you're kind. I was. I don't know that I've ever tried to figure that one out. That's a good one though. I need to. I, I need to put that one in the old repertoire. You know, I typically do that at the end of shows. Did we reconnect? Did we disconnect? Anyway, all I was saying was is you can't really do Greatest Eye Faithfulness or him or whatever at a writer's round because you're singing songs you wrote and I did not write Greatest Eye Faithfulness. But it's a jam. It's one of my favorites. Always has been. Anyway, I'm going to bounce off here because it's uh, I've been on here for now 28 minutes and who knew? And that just took on a little life of its own. Um, but anyway, that's what I know at the moment. Now, I may jump over to Instagram and do a little Instagram live. It's going to look similar to this. But I don't do an Instagram live very often, and I should, because I have a lot of folks over on Instagram. I have a lot of folks here on YouTube, which I'm very, very grateful for. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you like, subscribe on the videos, share my videos, please. Uh, share them on your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever. Feel free. Have at it. Uh, they're all up there. But um, that's it. I love you, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. And um, yeah, I, Kendra said, hey, I'm going to catch you over there. All right, let's jump, let's do Instagram. Why not? We, I, I appreciate y'all taking the time. And uh, yeah, you're welcome. You're, you're welcome. I get, get crazy, get crazy. Yeah, thank you. you. You thank me, I'm thanking you. Anyway, I'm gonna jump off here and um, have a good week. Bye.